our second half. Uh, yeah, one in the second half. Um, I mean, coach told us the last time we won the second half was against the Knicks, I believe, in, uh, in Madison Square. So um, I think the biggest takeaway is what we came out in the second half. And we got stops on the defensive end. We got on transition, got easy looks. And, you know, shots are falling for us. But most importantly, I think our defense in the second half was, uh, was great. I think it just woke us up, knowing that no lead is safe, no matter who we play, um, no matter who's on the floor. Given that Portland, you know, came in, you know, shorthanded, you know, with a lot of their guys out, we couldn't look at their roster. We had to, you know, come in and be better than we were last game. And knowing how last game ended, we didn't want the same result today. So we were a little bit more alert. Um, and like I said, um, on the defensive end, we were a lot better. It's a great passer. Well, you can always add information, add uh, schemes to how we play, um, you know, but he's a smart guy. I'm a smart guy and we just play basketball, play simple basketball, you know, try to make the right reads, try to find open spots. And, you know, with his ability to pass, uh, he's putting it on the money. Um, I just try to make it easier for him, and uh, he's making it easier for me, um, you know, giving me open looks. So uh, we just, you know, play well off one another, and, you know, we just got to, you know, keep it up, but we can always add to it. Uh, I mean, it was great seeing him get up, um, not knowing, you know, the significance of his injury, um, how he got hit, you know, what happened. Um, but to see him walk off on his own power, then to see him walk back to the bench and, you know, be up and, you know, cheering the way he did, uh, it was amazing to see. It was great to see. Uh, you never, I never wish injury on anyone. Um, if it's the opposing team, nobody. And, you know, for it to happen to one of our own, I'm glad that he got up and uh, I'm glad that he, he's okay. Most definitely. Um, you know, the way he can handle the ball, shoot the three, his defense abilities, um, two-way player. Uh, he's big time for us, and when he has it going, um, we normally win. So, um, you know, he got to keep it up. It's a lot of pressure, but, uh, you know, Will is great. He's great for us, what he can do on the floor, uh, passing the ball, his ability to play, you know, on and off the ball is great for us. So, you know, that's why, you know, we look for him, you know, to do some things out there on the court. I mean, I don't think it's, it's a big difference. They, they both can see the floor very well. Um, they both <clears throat> are, you know, pat, kind of pass first um, in, a, in a way. And they both have high IQs out there and, you know, what they see. Um, they can adjust on the fly and, you know, make adjustments to make our team better. And, you know, you see that firsthand in these games. So, you know, they're, they're both just great at what they do. <laughs> Joker. The way he stretched. Hold on, which one are you talking about? In the first half or second? Oh, yeah, that was spectacular. The way he got up off the floor, it was, it was amazing. I thought you were talking about the second half man one, you know, the, the fingertip dunk. He stretched, he stretched for that one. That was space jamish. He did, he did his thing on that one. Hi, Jeff. Uh, Jeff, we all know the injuries that has happened to the Nuggets this year with Jamal out, with Michael Porter out, with PJ Dozier out. When Will went down, were you thinking to yourself, worst case scenario, oh my God, that we, this could be a long-term injury? Say that again, I'm sorry. Uh, were you thinking to yourself when Will went down with a, an injury, were you thinking this could be another PJ, this could be another Jamal, Michael Porter situation? I was hoping not. Uh, I didn't. I didn't think that far as you know, thinking that he was that that seriously injured. Um, you know, I just know he needed some time to catch his breather to you know actually figure out what was probably wrong. Um, you know, I didn't. I don't know the type of pain he felt, but I'm just glad he got up. You know, was, we've seen it enough, and uh, I'm just glad that he got up. I'm glad he's cool. <laughs> Uh, 
Hi, Jeff. It's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Congrats on the win. Jeff, how necessary are these kind of wins to continue to develop a, a winning team chemistry? Well, it's great. It's great. Um, it allows us to see what everybody can do. It, it gives everybody confidence in one another. And when you win these type of games, what we did on the defensive end, it shows what we're capable of. So uh, it's important that sometimes we get these type of wins, but it's also important that we continue to, you know, go to film and watch what we, what we can be better at and bring these, this type of effort into the next game.